Ooh. What is up, you guys? And of course, welcome to, well, our continuation of this Nuzlocke. Actually, not doing this outside of uh, any kind of recording that is with uh, Twitch. Uh, the reason for that is actually that I need to lower the volume. Hey. Uh, no, but the reason for that is that simply uh, I have been kind of having an issue setting up stream at the same time as I do this. So I decided that a few episodes will be just me. Which means you're gonna hear weird stuff. Which is, um, I actually prefer having a stream because I do gonna realize that at least then I don't say too stupid stuff. But hey, we'll figure stuff out as we go. Previous episode, we of course got as far as being the Snorlax without any issues actually. And I'm just gonna look at my team. I look super healthy after that. So we are gonna of course bring Scout Donuts, which of course be the first. Hoping to level that one up a little bit. Uh, and we're gonna catch our next Pokemon actually in this specific area. Um, Alright. We're gonna showcase, of course, the breeding. And yeah. Nice. Uh, also, while I'm recording this, is actually dir almost directly after. Uh, ooh, that is not well. Uh, after the. Um, maybe it's another time. Uh, after that, uh, Nintendo Direct is now, but the news reveal of, of course, uh, Orang. Oranguru and the other fighting type there, the, the ape and the monkey Pokemon. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. Uh, Alright, let's see which Pokemon we get. Now, if we get a Floet or a Fletch... no? Can't remember what it's called. That fair Pokemon that I can't catch it. I can only catch Pokemon I haven't met before. This seems to be a Horde, and Horde also go outside of that. Horde of hop -ups. how cool is that? But yeah. Due to it being a horde, we can't catch any of these. Um, sorry, Scout Donut. Your time to shine comes soon. So let's see. Alright, normal battle. What are we going to face? Alright, that was a Flo Flabebe. Alright, and Flabebe is the one we can't catch due to we actually knocked it out before. So, we're just gonna kill it. Oh, or we can avoid attack. Lucky Shant. I can't remember what that really did. Alright. I should probably learn. Does it kill? Ah, oh, we get five strikes. We get five. Oh, sweet. But, but yeah, I kind of need to learn this guy return for sure. Um, Scout Zone and definitely need return. Uh, it's getting all some levels anyway. And return should definitely be off the power or powerful enough to. Uh, be stronger than a quick attack at least. I hope. We'll see. In each episode will of course be around just filling it out filling it out as we go. But the episode will be around forty minutes to an hour depending on. But uh, yeah. It's relaxing stuff. I hope that I can end the episode outside of the cave, uh, which is very close here. Another horde that means more hop ips. No shiny though, no shiny. Kinda fascinates me the way people actually do in shiny hunting like this. It's so boring. But people tend to like it, or people tend to watch it, or maybe I should say. Uh, come on, give me something better. I have no idea what you're gonna face there outside of the baby. I do believe Smurgle is one of the encounters. Ah, Roselia! Yeah. I mean, I already got. Um, Already got Ivysaur. That's a bit unfortunate. Nice. Thank you for that. Also, I should actually. I have coffee. Like in the back of here, so I should. I should actually grab that. Uh, what did it do? Stacid? Poison sting, maybe. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I swear, Nintendo is gonna copyright this music on me. I actually fixed that since my streams were without music, actually. Alright, I should get it. Uh, need some milk, though. Come on! Ugh. Yay, Roselia is mine! Thing is, I would much rather use Roselia than Venusaur. 
But, um... Uh, I don't have a mobile phone on me. I can't remember how this guy's evolved. Let's see... Maluxia. Bit of a hint to, uh... Flaming Axel. <laughs> I think I like that. Anyway, I'm just gonna grab my phone. I'm just gonna check out... Um, the evolution line here. Because if I have to take um, like a good guess, which I obviously never do, then I do believe Roselia evolves with a stone in mind, right? Let's see, Roselia. Come on. Let's see, shiny stone. All right, and I don't necessarily know where you get that. Um, let's see, how good are you? Poison points, so not ignition. Um, oh, it's kind of underwhelming, isn't it? It's bold though. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, kind of, kind of underwhelming. So. What I'm trying to say is that I'm not banking on Resilia to be used here. Uh, it's good to have it though. One might never know when it's needed. Uh, but right, I know there are a couple of Smurgles around here. Um, I don't know how powerful they necessarily are, but they're only as powerful as the moves they get. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's not hard at all. Ugh, broke my mouth. <laughs> Alright, the Smurgle. Um, just gonna go for return here and hope that's a two hit kill. Yeah, he, he kinda like a oh, brick break. That did nothing. Like, my heart skipped a beat and then it's like, you know, the feeling of. Like, I'm, I'm getting calm again. I'm trying to find the right word, but yeah. Not as bad is what I'm trying to say. Scout Donut level 16, that's awesome. If I can keep this fur alive, then you know I'm all for it. I am all for keeping this fur alive throughout the Nuslog. But um, yeah, I'm, 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 I do believe that's kind of hard. Ooh, two two battlers. That that's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. Don't have the best the Smurgles. I'm gonna send out the Smurgles. So Scout Donut and P Shark is gonna come in here, and uh, Scout Donut's return should still be as powerful as ever. When it comes to P-Shock, I have no idea. Like, go for the Thunder Shock and hope for the best. A bit over this time, nice. We do have speed him. Ah, oh, it's not enough. Twister. Alright, we can take Twister. That should and clear smog, alright. So, that's okay. That's real okay. Alright, so Smurgle, 50% hit there, and Thunder Shock will knock out this Smurgle. Also, Furt is faster than Pikachu. Just saying. I do believe Pikachu was of quiet nature too, so I guess that's kinda explains itself. P Shark level up. Pursuit, alright. Pikachu has a very bad HP though. Alright, so that's out. That works. Scout Donut! We get some cash. But the double battle can all can be scary. They they can be scary. Um mostly because of um, that they tend to only have one Pokemon. And uh, the reason that's like dangerous that only have one Pokemon is because usually they are of a higher level. And two Pokemon with higher level, yeah, things get kinda ugly fast. Alright. Show them what you got, Smurgle! As I went for a quick attack of all the things. That is probably just as strong as... Uh, probably just as strong as Return, actually. That's... Um, that's kind of discomforting. At the moment, at least. Alright. Scout Donut, level 17. In actually turns out to be quite dangerous. Learns Helping Hand. Oh. That's that's not helping. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, 
awful. Alright, um, we're gonna come to a cave here, which I'm not particularly fond of. Um, actually, Scout Donut can be in the lead first. Actually, no, Fishhawk. Uh, the reason the cave is kind of scary is because they actually have XU in that uh, in that cave. Oh, wait. Gonna have a battle. Let's, see, let's go for a battle. Team Red versus Superman Ku can we? <laughs> Alright. Um, I didn't get healed up though, so that's kind of bad. Alright, the guy with the corefish only has one mon. That works for me. Do you believe Thundershock should be well within the area of killing him? Please? Oh, of course not. We'll find a shark on Fletchling, and we'll see. Okay. It's not like I'm gonna expect um, Aqua Jet here anyway. Adaptability Aqua Jet. Alright, goes to the quick attack on the Pikachu. And he goes to Pikachu. There we go. Alright. So that's Corfish out of the way. That works. P Shock almost level up. And Thunder Shock does nothing to that. And um, we do have return here. So at least I can do some damage. Oi. Fantastic. Oh, not that combo. Growl. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm actually just going to make sure that Pikachu kills the Fletchling so she has something healthy coming in. <sighs> also, hey, I can get Inkay like real soon too. That would be kind of cool to use on us, look. Quick attack. Oh, why'd you use it on me? Keeps attacking me. Alright, I guess he's more than looks. Should have gone for a quick attack my token. Um Yay, P Shark level 38 is gonna say, but that is actually 18, so you're know, close enough. Electro Ball. That could be promising actually. Chris to take that over Thunder Shock as of right now at least. Yeah, that works. Even though I am a quiet nature, it's very uh, highly likely that Electro Ball does uh, well, more than it should. You know, more than at least, you know, that powerful move of. Uh, I can't speak today. Thunder Shock. Pick Electro Ball definitely should do more. I. It looks okay. It's not overpowered by any means. I'll see if a return is actually stronger. Alright, that's Quilladin. We're waiting all this time just sending in the Quilladin. Let's see, a return does. Return is stronger. Fantastic. This bite, and that should be La Febe Out. Great. But we need. I need to get healed somehow. But that seems very unlikely. Um, because Scout Donut has not a lot of HP. And uh, it doesn't matter, I use a potion really. They are kind of redundant now when super potions are available. Uh, might as well try to get them out or lose them. Um, so there are, do you believe, an item down here and another trainer. Oh, I need some witch cut. Good thing I've caught this guy then. Might as well learn uh, Rosalia Cut for the moment. Cut is so unnecessarily in this game. It's probably oh, this is the only game where Cut is unnecessarily in this fashion, where I don't really believe you need Cut um, in any kind of way of progressing the game. It's just for getting grabbing items and pressing the wrong buttons. But it's kind of strange. I never liked HM. So I guess it's kind of nice to see that they have another plan with them. Let's see, this is a silver powder, right? Something to sell. I guess that works. 
Can um can I attack Lamactive? All right, there's that cave. All right, I thought I went was on the way there, uh, but no, here's the right way. All right, and we're gonna face here a smaggle. Gonna face a smaggle. Good thing I didn't catch this one at least. I like Smurgle, but uh, it's for a Nuzlocke, it's quite impossible to use. Oh, it's gonna sketch my. Huh. You learn return. All right. Good for you. That really give no H XP whatsoever. Um, so maybe there is only the berry there, and I'm doing this all in vain. Ooh, Volpeat! Now that's this what we are guy actually w would like to catch. That's unfortunate. Volpeat is cool. Plus, I need um. A bug type, really. It's helpful to have a bug type, you know, bug or dark type, really. Um, anything that can deal easily with psychic types or toxic croak. How, how good would that have been if I got a croco gunk here? Uh, that would have been immense. That, I mean, fuck Roselia is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, but you know, obviously that's not how it works, and uh, we're gonna continue. Now, we can't face an XQ here. That's that is what I'm fearing the most. She'll heal me. Oh, that's good. Neither that. I was kind of afraid you wanted to battle me too. Let's see. What do we get? Don't get a Subat. Wishma. <laughs> okay. Wishma is kind of nice. Do uh, Wishmer learn Boomburst naturally, or is that uh, a breeding move? Oh dear lord, he was not up for the Pokeball. Um, just gonna check that out real quick. Let's see. Explode. I love having a Pokedex on the phone. It's it's helpful. Let's see. Boomburst is not a level up move. It seems. Synchronize, separate voice. Oh, le level 85. But it can learn it with the uh, hot skills. Okay, that's the combo at least. Level 85, that's. Uh, that's kind of overdoing it. Kind of overdoing it. Alright. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Played too much Pokemon Go. Like when you see the three shakes, you're gonna just assume, all right, then I got it. But it doesn't necessarily work like that in this game. I tend to use or call them Rotor. That's what I call my first explorer when I was. So was that eleven? Something like that back in Ruby and Sapphire. All right, so we didn't get an XQ here, which is unfortunate. We definitely would love to use that. Stop right there! Oh no! All right, but at least it's, it's no battle. Sorry about that. All right, I do believe there's an item here. Yes. I tend to remember those weird stuff or weird with things. Um, let's see. The dream would be to catch him a chop here. Or an ink. I'm all up for both, really. HP up is good. Good thing to sell. 
Let's see what we get. Come on, something good, something good, something good, something good, something good, something. That's a drift loon. That's not half bad, actually. Now that I think about it, but I'm you no, know, I, I I can't hurt that. Level 13 too. That's really underwhelming. So I can't really hurt it too hard, or I can't can't hit it too hard. Um, I do believe Ember from Shiklian or Scum Hinder or Fletch Hinder is gonna be like nice enough. To Ooh, nice enough to it. Oh, flame. <laughs> Alright, that works. Actually, a pick is not that strong of a move. Right? I'm trying to say that again. So, right. Just gonna check out. Drift Loon is definitely a Pokemon I could think about using. Just going to check that out too. Drift Loon. When do you level up? Give me something, baby. Alright, so it's nothing on Pokedex. But it does level up naturally to its evolution at least. Um, doesn't get too good of a moves, but you know, one could always use HM to save it. So right, gonna start with the Pokeball. Or actually, I only have Pokeball, so it doesn't matter. I was gonna say that then if I miss the first time, I'm gonna use Great Ball. Gotta have a Great Ball to do that. But we get him. We get him. No! That, oh, the Pokemon Go Syndrome. She's gonna use Minimize. Oh, it's Verlissifying. It's Verlissifying. <sighs> Alright, I have two more tries on me. I guess I could try to charm him a little bit and bring a Dreamer Ball. Showing him, you know, the good life. And don't give me the middle finger. Come on, 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 yes! He saw the better life and he wanted it. So Drift Loom has joined the party! Naming it Serenade since it actually was a female. Alright, that works. That works. It's not the worst catch you can get here. Definitely not the worst. But now I do believe it's some time till we get the next one. Mm. There is that guy, the XU. Now don't be too strong. Since it's lonely, I'm kind of fearing level, yeah, I was gonna say 20, but you know, that is definitely close enough. Um, we should be faster at least. That's not a two-hit kill. As he goes for a scary face. I got for that scary face then. You son of a smug thing. Jewel chop, alright. Ouch! Ouch! Hey! That's not okay! Oh shit. We're not gonna like another one of those. Um, I'm gonna go to Canapis. Ouch! Canopus is bulky enough at least to deal with it. Um, oh, avoid attack! Bring it on, sucker! Take this Venoshock! Alright. Crisis avoided. Dear God. That's why I hate when I see a, a opponent with a single Pokemon, because you just know. You just know they're going to turn things to shit. I'm gonna have one Opimon and then it's nothing to it. Alright, let's see. Next encounter is, uh... Ah, oh, NK. I would much rather have an NK. Come on, Groofjan. What can you do? Actually, leave. Shouldn't. Shouldn't meddle with those things. 
I wonder how long I can keep my Frogadier alive. I mean, if I get to a Greninja, then, you know, I'm I'm pretty much set for the whole game, really. Pancham. Now I really have to think. Am I a dark type or just water? I do believe I'm still just water. So I should be able to deal with this guy. Leer, alright. So that's obviously okay. Um... Skiddo. Yeah, that's like that's that's something else. That, that is definitely something else. Cannabis, you're up. Race relief. Yeah, we're gonna eat that up. Skiddo is also one of those mana I actually kind of want in a slot. Both Skiddo and Pancham, so I know I can't get them both. But they were both interesting mon enough to be used in this kind of environment. Oh, that's a one hit KO. Shmup. Canapes, level 19. I swear, Venusaur is by far much more usable than any other starter in this game. By a lot. Do this great bulk, really, and pretty okay attack. It looks like it should be slow, but it's actually kind of decently fast. Um, for for the stature it is. I mean, anything faster than Swampert is good, <laughs> if you ask me. Um, Alright, let's see how this goes. Fighting type guy. I'm just gonna check out... Um, Frogadier. Yeah, it's only water. It's only water in its middle evolution. That's good. Machop. Alright, there we have him. Machop is scary, though. Machop is really scary. Level 20. I really can't bank on confusion on this guy. That did nothing though. Full sight. Okay, so that's okay. That's okay. I do believe we got this. Karate shop. Ooh. Nasty. Alright, but this one should kill, so we are golden here. Karadisha was much worse in... Uh, was it red, blue, and yellow? Where it actually had a rather hard critical hit rate. I don't remember if it was a fighting move back then or normal. I think it was a normal type move. But you always know that shit went down once you saw Mashup coming and, and indeed have access to Karadisha. It just hurt so badly to everything, really. Alright, Grutjan! Get out of there! To a little XP, anyway. Um, trying to figure out what comes after here. But I do believe we're still not in the second gym. We're actually going to get into, I was going to say Team Rocket, but I do believe it's Team Flare. And uh, they're. Um, oh, dear God, I missed an item, didn't I? Ah, oh, I need to get back then. Um, but we're going to get the fossils. Of fossils? Fossils. And get access to either Tyrant or Aurus, but it's kind of obvious that Tyrant is the one you want. Uh, Leaf Stone, nice. If only I had a Pokemon to evolve. That would have been a much better having a Thunderstone. Never mind. I'm trying to say I want my Raichu. Because Pikachu is getting worse by the second. Even if it gets catastrophic. Whatever it's called for C move in Generation 7. Alright, high neighbor. Oh, we shouldn't battle, right? Yeah, get out of my face. Let's go to Poker Center anyway. Hello. <laughs> Heal my Pokemons, miss. <laughs> I will tell you, you are god great here. I have no idea what I'm trying to do. But yeah, Grifflim. 
or Wishmer. Rifflim is by far the cooler. But with Gust and Astonish, it's definitely isn't that uh, astonishing. Haha. <laughs> um, you got Unburden. Not the best ability. Or it's, it's a great ability, but not right now. Not for Nuzlocke. Um, you can't learn anything. Alright, I'll just have to figure out things as we go. Um, it's very likely it will be unusable to like, get a Shadow Ball or something like that. So... I'm gonna sell that HP up. Let's see... And silver Powder. I didn't really give me all that much now, did it? Um, yeah, that looks the part. And I'm gonna invest in some... Uh, let's see, we did that Antidote, right? Yeah, Paralyzed Seal, yeah. Awaking. Not too many. Some Burn Heal. And the rest in Super Potions, which shouldn't be all that many. But yeah, there we go. I should be set at least. So now we're on correctly. We have a chance of catching um, um, Helioptile, I do believe it's called. Helioptile and Rhydon. Or a Kangaskhan, which could be uh, just the best. But it's very unlikely to face a Kangaskhan. And if I do, I also need to survive it, which is um, you know, a task on its own. Aloha! Alright. I want an item from you. But you didn't have any, so piss off. It's kind of bad, you know, once you think about it, that you, you know, you break into others' houses, you're just like, GIVE ME SOMETHING! <laughs> Can't be helped. Nature power, alright. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have fun using that. Can you learn nature power? Of course you can't. Um, scout donut then? No. Oh, come on, it would have been great if just someone could snag that move. I'm doing it the wrong way, aren't I? Alright, nobody that I have can learn it, so yay me! <laughs> Hey, Furfro. So sad you didn't join me for this Nuzlocke. Mr. Beardfist. If you're wondering why I like go in and talk to everyone, it's because I do kind of remember. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want the old power. Why did I get in there anyway? But yeah. I do kind of remember that you could get items here somewhere. It's not like the Rocky Helmet, or maybe it is Rocky Helmet you get, and I'm just completely forgot about it. Uh, but yeah, no more people here, and we are just going to hope for um, that I eventually go the right way here. Let's see, because you're supposed to go this way, but you're supposed to go in here before that. There we go. Learn about Mega Evolutions, yeah. And I believe some of you gave me a TM. Was it you, maybe? No? Or is it after... Maybe it is afterwards. Alright. Um... Alright, I really hope I'm just lucky here. Because this is actually an area which is... Uh, it, it's kind of a big shift when it comes to uh, what you can face. There we go, there's a rocky helmet I was kind of looking for. 
And we're gonna give Rocky Helmet to... Only one Mon, really. Oh, you could learn natural power. Hey, Ivysaur, my man. So, yeah. No. Sorry, buddy. There we go, Rocky Helmet. The thing is, Ivysaur needs it, or rather, it's good for it due to its natural bulk, kind of switching to stuff that can actually take damage. Alright. This is probably one of the worst part of the, or the worst part of the whole game. It's so slow. And it's so easy to mess up. Right, which mom will we get? Oh, Ring is a mill holiday. Oh, that's sad stream too. Okay. <laughs> uh. I definitely didn't want this guy. I definitely didn't want you. Of all the things I could face here, you are not one of them. Only perk I have over this is that I'm not sure this guy can touch me. Oh, it's out of Sandstream, that is. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, Hippopotas is... It's not a bad mon. It's definitely not a bad mon. Oh, he's gonna join on me. Don't do this. There we go. Okay, but I should be able to catch him with from here. We haven't faced anything in the cave at least, but a bit unfortunate that we get Hippopotas here and nothing else. Because Hippopotas is, um, well, eh. A single ground type usually aren't too good. Um, if it had been Sand Slash, I'd probably liked it more, but or Sand True. But it's only because of their moveset. Um, I do believe Hippopotas moveset is kind of redundant. Bugra. Well, not redundant, but it's limited. And early game is definitely limited. We're basically going to bank myself on, what is that, return on it. Which means it's kind of unusable. Like I said, it doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that it's not fitting what I need. I was kind of hoping for a um, Helioptile or um, definitely a Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn would be so cool to get. Because I like it a lot. Would be a reason for me to use the Violite. X Defense. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's see. I'm gonna actually cut this episode once I make it into the cave because we're reaching that sweet 40 minutes which is kinda where I want to be at no longer no shorter just kinda need to have like a natural like transaction like when I reach a certain goal that just can end the game uh, I do believe that's that kinda fits the bill Because it's highly unlikely I'll clear the cave anyway. Or I, I could take that route, but yeah. Kinda need a break, is what I'm trying to say. Go figure. Away with these rocks. Like I said, this part of the game is horrendously slow. I really, really wish that they made this a lot smarter than they ended up doing, because this is just. Uh, it's terrible. This part is outright terrible. Oh, I missed an item. How about that? Because that's only a trainer. Don't care for you. Since it's a flying battle, and I do believe I can only use Drift Limb and uh, Fletchling for this battle. Which actually shouldn't be too bad. I think. Let's find out. Let's see. Legion. Now that's a very, very unintimidating one, at least, even though it's a single one at level 20. I get. 
dear lord. Okay. Um, not saying it versus you. You're a god. I mean, it's defensive at best. That's all it is. So I'm not too worried about it. But it's still, why? Why so OP? Let's see. And I'm not faster. Of course I'm not faster. And Peck is a two. Oh, okay, that's a crit. I was like, who? Isn't this supposed to be defensive? So Silver Wind, and that's gonna do no nope damage since it's actually four times resisted. And Peck is gonna do nothing now then. And since you already showed that you're faster, we're gonna go for a quickie on you. And there we go. When I do believe Driftling will gain a level on this for sure. It has to. Yeah, yeah, it has to. If Shiklingan gets a level, then it definitely gonna get a level. Yay! Learn something! Two levels! Learn something! No! I don't want to be stuck with Gust. Or, right where it is, who wants to be stuck with Gust? <laughs> Alright, but it was obviously no TM here. Yeah, back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, not, not, not all the way, but, you know, whatever. I do believe you give me health. Yes. I remember correctly. And you don't want to battle me. And there is no item here. Okay. So, into the cave and... Uh, cut, I was going to say. But yeah, Glittering Cave, new area. Means that you catch a new Mon. But you guys don't find out which Mon that is until the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I see you. Episode 2 of, of course, Nuzlocke of the Century, with yours truly, the Skyrender. Until then, take care. Bye.